Attempt number two at Gran Turismo 4's Le Mans. Hopefully, the power doesn't go out since there's been no thunderstorms. Let's find out. Alrighty, let's try again. And already I've got drop frames, which is uh never good. Because hey, we cannot we can't have 
high quality streams. So welcome everyone to the stream. It is It's good to be on here. So once again, we're gonna try the Mon 24. Oh god. Hopefully this time nothing happens. Now there is scheduled heavy rain tonight. Which means I might have to pause the game for a couple of hours if something does happen. Yeah, hey, my name is Fanboy the Viper and I like video games. Welcome Fanboy, welcome Roman. Uh, welcome uh, uh, Nolatus, Nolatus, I think. I, I don't know. What day are you in the save game? Um, let's have a look, actually. I haven't really considered that. Let's have a look. We are day 1020. Oh, hello. <laughs> actually, I completely forgot about that. But welcome. Okay, so. We should be fine here. I actually do need to check out my connection because I was uh, I was losing connection on PlayStation on PlayStation Network, which is strange. Which means my router might be dying. Which means new router, which sucks. Right, shall we try again? Alright, Saki so de la Sof, number one. Oh, God almighty. I don't think this is going to go very well, I'll be honest. Wow, I'm dropping. I'm dropping a hysterical amount of frames. That that was not good. I just dropped a huge amount of frames. Um, I'm gonna have to pause the stream for a little bit so I can turn down the bit rate because I don't know what's affecting it. So I will be, I will be two seconds. I'm dropping frames all over the place, so I'll be two seconds. I just need to adjust the uh, the bit rate. And we're back. Alright, so I just adjusted the bitrate a little bit. We are now back up live. Hopefully this will reduce the drop frames. Otherwise, I'm going to have to uh, update OBS. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, I'm still dropping frames apparently. Yeah, this is definitely a problem with my connection. I, I just, I come back up live for one minute and the frames already drop. I'm definitely going to have to, res I'm definitely going to have to reset my router. I'm out of the way. Drop about one and a half seconds worth of frames, which is uh, never good. Thanks for the push, Corvette.
I'm doing all right, thank you very much. Tired and almost falling asleep. Ooh. Bad night, bad night sleeping then. There should be four parts to this Zahino. Also, welcome. Uh, six hours for each. Probably even, probably less than that. If oh, the gym. Oh, God, please, car, stop. Yep, I'm driving the Sauber. This is the Sauber. Oh, God. I forgot how bad the brakes are when you put super hards on, on these tyres. On this car. We restarted this month. Ooh. I need to get back to the gym soon. I tried that before, Zahino. The results weren't very good. Because if you put front, if you put grippier tires on the front and leave the tires on the rear alone, you'll actually start sliding the car because the front of the car is pushing the weight further than the rear of the car. As a result, as a result, the um, the car slides. You want, that's why you always buy the same tire for each car. You don't want you don't want one side of the car having more grip than the other because that can be quite fatal. That's why on my bike, when my tires go, I always buy the same. I always buy the same kind of tire and the same spec and the same manufacturer and the same model. Meditation music just to relax. Ooh, meditation music. I really don't know why OBS is over boosting the, the bit rate, even though I've set it to a strict limit. Like it's over boosting to 6,000, even though I said the maximum was 5,250. It's overcompensating quite badly. So I think after the first part's complete, I am going to have to uh, reset my ruler. Oh yes, it's going to be raining because all this week's going to be raining. Also, uh, this Wednesday will be the start of morning streams. Stop! No, 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 no. 
It'll be Beast. It'll Barney's going to be driving, so don't worry about that. Yes, there are Le Mans, there are 24-hour races in the Mons on GT5 as well. Except you can actually pause and um, take a break in GT5. Yep, part one, because I will have to... Yes, it is a complete restart because I have massive power cut. Last time I did this. Now, I hope... Now, there aren't any scheduled thunderstorms, but it will be heavy rain, so I don't know how it's going to go out. If it does happen again, I think I might just leave it. I don't want to have to keep restarting and restarting and restarting and restarting because it will get boring. Yesterday's races? You mean Wednesday? I did one race because it was a short stream. Because yesterday I had an appointment. I had an appointment at quarter past 11, which is uh, not good. But yeah, I only lost 10. I lost 10 I rating. But I gained fair bit of safety so I should I should be okay I don't mind the, the odd loss but a major loss because some idiot decided to kill me um, I spun out three times in the same place because I'm a loony Right, so the strat as follows. I will be doing two hours. I'll then let Barney do two hours. I will then do two hours. And then I'll be going to bed. Actually, no. I will be doing two hours. Then I will uh, reset the stream. Let Barney do two hours. Then I'll do two hours. And then I'll go to bed. off the road. Corvette's very far behind, of course. There we go. Front tyres are nice and warm now, which means braking should be more effective. Also be doing some races in GT Sport as well. Which was nice. Actually got up to a uh, race class B. what seems to be an Aston Martin overload because in every single race I've been so far it's always an Aston Martin B12 Vantage. Meanwhile I came third in a Mustang Group 3. Oh, you're working in your mayor's office. Nice. 
you get to hear whatever ranting phone calls he might just have. He or she might have. Must be some shady thing. Yeah, you know, he's just worked with... You get invited to some... <laughs> I was supposed to work at a shoe factory. Hmm. The shoe factory for the mayor. Oh, God. Imagine. Yeah, what's your job, mate? Yeah, I make I make some I make shoes for the mayor. They're disposable shoes. So he gets a so he gets a pair of shiny new ones every month. Can block, huh? Eh? He started off as a shoe salesman. That's actually... I didn't know that, actually. Oh, they export to... They ex you, you're making shoes to export to France. Nice. You know what the ironic thing is I learned about today? We make boomerangs that we export to Australia. <laughs> this country. I'm not kidding. <laughs> You would think that maybe a boomerang is, you know, made in Australia for the for the purposes of Australian things. As it turns out, we make boomerangs. No, we export. Export. I'm not joking. DC shoes from get go. Oh, he worked at DC Shoes. So Ken Block worked for DC Shoes and that's how he got the sponsorship? God damn. That's what I thought VX. Apparently we know how to make a boom rain better. Right, I guess. I don't know. I knew about this because I watched one of Boris Johnson's broadcasts. And we just had a low ball drop frames. Great. We lost an entire second to drop frames. God almighty, man. I actually do need to find out what's causing these jitters. It's probably a firewall problem that, might, that I'll have to sort out while Barney's racing. Stop car! Close one. Since March? What? Sure they give you an answer anyway. That's actually pathetic, man. I've never heard... That, that's terrible.
Woo, cars, skittish. And it's gone off the road. Yeah, I think I might just get the car in. Yeah, but even then they should give you an answer. Like, I hate, I hate when people just leave you waiting forever without giving you an answer, only for you to ring them up and say, yeah, you didn't get it because such and such. Right, tyres and fuel. And off we go again. He needs an authorization. I haven't heard of anything like that before. An authorization just to let you work? Okay, whatever works for him, but. I mean, at least you're getting it sorted out now. I'm sure your mayor will grant will grant it. I mean, more more than ever now, we need um, we need we need people back at work. Isaac, how you doing, bud? Welcome back to Twitch. So if you don't know this dude, I actually ra I raced with him in the days before we were both kicked out of the team for whatever reason our old team leader had. Stop vehicle! Big bone racing. Yep, that's the one. We did well, and then no one had any morale. <laughs> we certainly did, man. We certainly did. My oh, car, please be A. Please be A. Stop it, stop it. Yeah, but we've moved on now. I mean, you've got your team, I've got my team. Weeble wobble. Yeah, uh, Salva, Salva C9 on these tyres is uh, no good. Actually, a free agent. Oh, what happened to you in Brutal, Brutal Democracy, man? Did you just flat out leave or did they kick you out? Red flags, as in... Oh god, no, not the grass! On the road, please. Dropped another ton of frames. Yeah, this is definitely a connection problem. I 
have to reset my router after after this session before we continue. They promised a lot and never followed, and they never followed through. Yeah, if they if they're not following through on their promises, I think it's yeah, you you better you got better chances of just leaving. They never did the stuff that we expected. Hmm. Yeah, sounds like sounds like the uh, the team. Oh God! Stop, car! Resources. Sounds like they were biting off far more than they could possibly chew. You know, you know a team is very insecure when they start thinking that. Sounds like you were in a very insecure team, Isaac. There's a steam sale. Yeah, the, um, what was it, late summer sale or is it is an autumn sale that's coming up? I don't know. They still used assists? What, like break assists? Or do you mean assists as in traction control and whatnot? Late summer sale. I might have a look at that actually. Racing line. They were using the racing line. Dude, I mean traction control I can at least understand because cars are like 800 horsepower, but really the racing line? Yeah, I think that's, yeah. The fact that they, they said they're going to be the best team in the world and yet they use the racing line. Best to keep well back. R89C is now hitting. Yeah, you're not really exploring you're not really exploring your limits with a team that that doesn't want to explore limits. It's quite annoying, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
yeah really it's best to i mean it's best you get into a into a far more vicious team i mean i'm sure like, teams like manatee will take you on they at least have some serious ambition and can follow through on it Team Manatee on my racing. Oh god, no 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 no, don't you understeer on me. Mr. Casper, welcome, how are you? Yeah, Manatee's got some proper fast guys. But I think they'd be more than happy to take on Isaac as, as like part of a junior team. Hell, they, they invited me for Le Mans. Isaac's got a full oval. Yeah, that oval life he was living yesterday. All I can say is GT driving the GTEs, in my experience, uh, they're really, really skittish. They're very skittish cars to drive. I think they've, I think they've wrecked the physics on those things. Yeah. Oh God, VRS, VRS around around Barfurst. Jesus. Oh god, I broke far too late! How did I... How did I get through that without crashing? You see, if I was iRace and I get like a 25 second penalty... You mad lad, yeah! Barfus and the Ferrari is the best combo I've, uh, I've seen tried. Is the Ferrari back in meta? Because I know the Ferrari, when the new time model was on, was the most unstable piece of shit you could ever drive. I think Manatee do oval racing. Oh, Road Indy. Hmm. I don't know, really. <laughs> yeah, F1, F1 rim in a NASCAR. How does that work? I get cancer every time. <laughs> last night you see if before I do NAS before I ever do a like, proper NASCAR I need like a proper big rim so I might buy the universal I need to buy the, the uh, universal stars. hub and a big rim Gasperny Storm thank you for the follow welcome to the TWO the Torrent World Order I gotta get working gear first If you get the uh, if you get the the, the uni hub, if you get the uni hub and some random 35, 35 centimeter rim, that'll definitely that'll kill it. That'll kill it for overrated racing. I've yet to decide on Fanatec rims because I only I only received my uh, CSL some some days ago now and I've been enjoying it you see the buy a rim now Isaac's got one for sale <laughs> it's 
CBQ Black Friday wear. Mechanic, welcome. I'm doing all right. That's when I got money. Um, I'm probably, I'm actually going to be looking at some stuff from Fanatec on Black Friday. See what they got. Because I'm interested in their, I'm interested to see what deals they got on like stuff with stuff with the club sport pedals because i know um i know they got the damper and i got the brake performance kit and i'd like to buy both on that, around that time give me a shifter what for the uh, for the wheel limited edition fanatec shifter Wait, what's so limited edition about it? It's going to be off my nerve green trip. Um, I'm probably going to go DD next year. Probably, I might get a, I might get a fan of podium, assuming assuming the Euro doesn't tank again. Different car and carbonish knobs. All right, okay. Probably take a look. But I think if I if I'm gonna get a, if I'm gonna get like a, a shifter or any um... oh my god no ow it worked like forty percent of the time well that's a lot of subjective talk really I've had a fa I've had the fat pedals for well over a year now and I've had I've had maybe one or two issues with the uh, with the uh, Hall effect sensors but that's because they do unscrew from time to time and you do have to put them back in broke twice woo what, the load cell or the potentiometers? Because if it's potentiometers, then fair enough. Potentiometers are shit. Everything. Oh, so the electronics broke. So you had a... That sounds like electrostatic to me, really. That sounds like electrostatic. Did you like? Were you fiddling around with um, with anything static before by like, putting it in? Because I know for a fact that they that if you do that, the electronics really do screw up. I know, I know my club sports. Um, I know my club sport. Uh, when I first got them, actually, they did suffer from a little bit of electromagnetic interference. But that's because the Hall effect sensors are magnetic, and anything else that's magnetic will screw will screw them up. I want a girlfriend as well. Everyone wants a bit of love. For me, I've chosen not to because I've been lied to and. I've been lied to and manipulated too many times. Once is enough. If something happens, it happens. That's all I can say. I still need to focus on myself, though. Before I do anything, before I find someone, per se, I need to focus on myself, which means getting much healthier and whatnot. Plus, I like to get my uh, DD set up before I go find someone. You always come first. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Me. I come first before anything else right now. Yeah, exactly. Unless they're willing to do the same. Yeah, if they put you first, I'll put them first. Trust is a two-way street. So OBS is starting to stabilize a little bit. You're currently rolling with BBR. Interesting to see. Oh god, please car stop. Yeah, I, I do wish I was back with the lads. I do I do I do miss the lads a lot. Jack and Dem Jack, Demi, Corey, Craig. I do. Yeah, that's kind of weird. You won a you won a, you won a pro am championship, but they kicked you out. I I, I don't get it. Yeah. Plus, um, they all got invited to Geodesic, the Geodesic live team. I don't know about all, I, I think, no, no Gra Graham's part of it as well. Graham is part of it. Graham's part of it, Jack's part of it. Um, I think Kalen's part of it. Oh god, I've got to realise that the fronts do the brakes, not the rears. Yeah, I told Jack that I'm I'm there if he needs to, if he needs a spare man. Yeah, LMP2 is going to be great. The uh, Delara P270 is going to be awesome. I love Ratty. I hate Ratty. <laughs> Um, from what I've heard as well, there's going to be an, uh, a major time order update to the GTEs as well. Yeah, I did the same. The problem is the tyres, the tyres are making the cars feel skittish. And now, the uh, the BMW GT, the BMW M8 is is a one car meta right now. Yeah. I used to be um. I used to be, a, yeah, I was a Ford man. But the car, the cars feel skittish. I can't properly drive them anymore, so I, I went with HPD. And since getting to the HPD, I didn't want to drive anything else in ILMS. Because it felt so good. They got they got the tyres perfect on that car. Oh yeah, GT3s are awesome as well. here please uh, 
I don't know, I, I just alternate between setups really. If um, if the uh, pro setup feels better than the alt and vice versa, I'll just use that. I'll just use the setup that feels better. Yeah, I'm doing all right, Alex. Everything seems to be fine so far. I think the uh, the first time I got back into GTE, around it was around Monza in the M8, and that's because it felt the most stable. Everyone's using the M8 because of it, because it's just everything else feels everything else either can't brake can't steer or can't handle the power long wheelbase yeah But they've been testing a new tire model on the um, on the Fanatec G in the Fanatec GT Challenge, and from a couple of reports, I've heard it's a really nice tire model. So hopefully it work. Hopefully the translation of the GT works well. Oh hi, it's the Corvette. Wait, this isn't eye racing. Hey Daniel, how are you? Oh god. Sorry, Vet, but you're not overtaking. Not today. New season four graphics. Thank you for the host, Daniel. <laughs> All right, you take it easy, Isaac. Have a good day. <laughs> Can't get laid. If I racing do screw up the GT freeze, which I don't know if they will, because there's another. There's still one more. There's still one more GTE coming. No GT. GT three coming. And it's potentially going to be the 911R because I racing. The, un the oversteer. iRacing has got a has got a contract with Porsche to deliver five cars. So there's they got the 919. They got the 911 RSR. No, it's either five or four cars. I can't remember. There's 919. There's the RSR. There's the Cup car and they've got the Cup and they've got the Cayman. But the 911R, there's a five, it's a five car contract. So it's the 911R. If they get the 911R for GT3, they need to make it perfect. The outer layer for Bahrain? I didn't even know there was an outer layer for it. Plus, um, for the GT4s, for the GT4s, since they got the cut, since they got the Cayman, 87 laps. Jesus, what are they looking for? They better allow refueling then. And that's the music turned off. Please tell me the Monster Cat has had a problem again. Figure out on the next lap.
a 55 second lap. That is going to be, that's going to be dangerous. What are they thinking of? Yeah, like, like I was saying, with iRacing, with iRacing, um, they're supposedly also bringing in an updated time model for the GT4 since they've got a partnership with Michelin. So hopefully, uh, new tyre data will improve those as well because they don't feel very good right now. Corvette fan, welcome. It is the Mercedes Salva C9. Oh god, the, the Porsche Cayman was an awesome car to drive. Absolutely awesome on, on launch. I won, I won, I won the first two races of the season with that thing. And they were around the good second. My god, my god, the car felt awesome. Beautiful thing to drive. But they just, I don't know what they did, but I think they changed the physics a little bit. So now it feels like, it feels like it's, I don't know, it feels like it's on a plinth. Very odd to drive right now, the, uh, the GT4s. Minus five stars. Thank you for the follow, Corvette fan. Welcome to the TWO, the Tire World Order. It was pure orgasm, even with baseline. Oh, yeah. I actually do remember doing the, uh, what was it, the Sebring 90? Great car. I came, se I started second, and unfortunately, due to some shenanigans, I ended up last. Why? Because of course, things like that will happen. I really hope they do carry on that series, though. Have an endure, have like an endurance GT4 series, because that would that would actually be awesome. Oh yeah. I reckon they might add a few more, uh, they, they might add another series by him, sir. I can't remember what it's called. I know they've got the Pilot Challenge and I know they've got the Sports Car Challenge. I think it's called the Open G, I think it's called the Open GT Challenge. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, they'll be adding more GT4 cars and, um, and more, uh, TCRs. I know there. I know in IMSA the Honda Civic, the Honda Civic races in a TCR, and there's the VW Golf GTI. I think it's a contractual obligation. Um, I think right now they only allow they only allow Gran Turismo to have them. They're still racing WEC. They won't be for any longer. I think it's a contractual obligation to uh, Gran Turismo. Because they have um, drop frames again. Because they're right now the only game allowed to have the Supra and the TSO 50. You have encountered it. Oh, piss off. That's an ad. You are the problem. No, I'm not.
Please lose this ad. I don't care for it. World of Warcraft. Whatever. Go away. Oh, God. Also, that is way too loud. I just know that. We'll turn it down a little bit. Oh, no. They have the Supra. I think it may have been. They might be able to get it then. Assuming Toyota actually allows it because they're very, they're very strict with. Um... All right, take it easy, Casperni. Thanks for watching. I think it has. It's a very, very strict contractual obligations for them because they won't allow. They refuse to allow street racing with their car. Well, they did refuse to allow street racing with their cars being featured. And then they did. It's very complicated with them. Very, it's very, very strange contractual obligations they have. They might get Toyota in the future. Who knows? Although we do have the Tundra, but that is because of NASCAR. Yeah, but I think those are just um, those are purpose-built NASCAR cars with Toyota and their and their very specific projects. Um, they're they're really they're, I don't know I don't know why they're so weird with them because it seems to be with their road cars. It seems to be very strict around. What can go in, what can't. And because this is Toyota Japan, because it's Toyota Japan that developed the TSO 50 and the Super GT3, well, which is supposedly happening. Get on the road. Super GTS. Probably mine. Again, it's, it's all down to Toyota and the, themselves. When it, when it came to the NASCARs, because... When it came to the NASCARs, because they're purpose-built by Toyota US, and because it's part of NASCAR, NASCAR allow allowed them to scan them. Toyota is really funny with their road cars, and I'm not sure why. Because when Honda allows, when Honda allows, like different cars to be allowed different, different concepts as well as even street racing. I think it has more to do with like with secrets, with like uh, corporation secrets and technologies that they implement into their cars. Although I'm not even sure about that. Oh hello, it's the R89. And that's the R92 and I have just gone over to the gravel. Surprisingly, it's the Audi that's in the lead now. Last one was the R92 CP. Now it's the now it's the Audi R8.
Yeah, I saw that video, man. Looks great. Although once I racing finally gets wet weather, that would be uh, pretty colossal. And actually pretty taxing if you think about it. Because to process rain and a lot of other technologies takes a lot of processing power. And that's the one th that's the one thing I'm worried about when they do implement the wet weather stuff. If they screw if they screw it all up and make systems real slow because of it. That that I think might cost eye racing. So they have to be they really do have to um, refine it and make sure it's truly ready for release. Because I think I think they botched the uh, the tire model on first release. Like in closed bait in the um, in limited release the tire model was very very good. Yeah, if they're going to be implementing that, they've got to be very, very careful on how they implement it. Because if the wet weather doesn't work out and it starts to make people's systems run real slow or it doesn't work properly, it will cost eye racing a lot. The only game that's been able to get wet weather done properly so far and is being played constantly is ACC because the wet weather driving in that is absolutely phenomenal and the performance is bang on it doesn't feel slow when I play it oh yeah right horizon horizon would death would munch would would actually munch like physics based calculations in wet weather Yeah, so what I think it's the one I have, the 3700X. Really good process. It's def it's boosted my performance by huge amounts. I did have an Intel 6 core for like five years. But because the performance boost and less energy used by Ryzen, it, it was definitely the better choice. Although once I start getting like ground grounded into sim racing, I'm gonna have to look for to get a like a major sponsorship. First, I need to buy all their. I but like every other show, I need to buy every one of their products. Best lap time, nice. The 
Past an hour. I mean, I'm affiliated with the uh, with the company I buy my part with I buy my parts from, but affiliation is not the same as sponsorship. I mean, it's always best to shop around. Like I shop for my for my pro for my processor, RAM, and board and cooler. Who are we catching up to now? Is it the Corvette again? Turn in, you bastard. Come on. Whoa. Big oversteer. Jam on a headset controller. Oh, speaking of, I need to get new, I need to get a new desk one day because this one is starting to uh, sort of pull a little bit off. Plus, I'd like a little bit more space. Out of the way, Corvette. That's what calls the drop frames because malware bytes updating. Get lost, I don't want updating just yet. I just have to measure. I don't, I don't want a corner desk anymore. I'd like a little bit more room to uh, do things and whatnot. I've had this corner desk for five years. The, bit, the problem I'm having now is that the vinyl is, starting to, is really starting to strip away to reveal the hideous chipboard that, they, that this company has obviously used. Now, it kind of depends on what metal you want, though. 
Personally, I would not go for anything anodized. Because anything you put on that desk will be marked permanently. That includes any copy mugs, any consoles, any webcams, whatever. Next pit stop, less than an hour till, um, till Barney goes in. Here we go again. About 50 minutes till Barney goes in. Now I go grab something to eat and something to drink, actually. No, I'm playing on the hardware because I couldn't get the saves to translate well. An example of this was um, it would constantly say that the save was corrupted, which is weird. So I'm playing on the official hardware, but the web is fine so far. So I'm not worried. Oh, at least I didn't ditch it into the gravel this time. Cookies of water and salt. Ah. Cookies of water and salt. Salt water cookies. Never tasted them before. But they taste kind of bitter though because it's salt.
Corvettes coming in. Four PM and I'm tired AF. I don't know why I'm not yawning. I think it's because I've drank drunk a copious amount of tea today. Temperature drops to 22. It's 17 degrees outside. Very unsummery. You want that temperature. I'd gladly trade it for 22 degrees. See if I could do a six stopper. Six lap stop. Without expelling my tires. A 100% chance of rain on your birthday at 16 degrees. Ooh. Rain. You see, I'm not a rain person. Perfect. I wouldn't like rain. I like my days dry. And perfect temperature for me is 20 degrees. Not too hot, not too cold.
broke far too late there. Still best lap somehow. They've been in they've been in MotoGP for long. I have to turn off my wheel. Oh, rookie. Good on them. At the final turn, Austria. Oh, that's uh, that was that's the Red Bull. I can't remember if, if they raced in the Red Bull ring or not. Oh. Always limit your throttle on first and second. Passing two guys, Jesus, that was ballsy. That's a ballsy move to do, I'll be honest. How did you get the game? I bought it. I bought the game off, off eBay for a tenner. Yeah, like, that is a very... It's a very ballsy move. So, on PS2, fella. Yeah, especially on especially on a bike, that is a really ballsy move. I'm surprised. I'm surprised nothing happened. Right. Let's see if I can reserve these rear tires. Oh, that's too late. Yeah, you can find you can find fair few copies on eBay, Alex. Well, oh, is that the gym? Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to pit this lap because uh, rear tyres are already not looking healthy. I, re I should have softened the rear suspension a lot.
Hi there, vet. How are you? Big slip. Oh my god, really? I've got two more stops after this, and then Barney goes in. About to say, was the music just turn off again? Apparently not. Right, let's get this bet again. The Audi still in the lead. He's pitting him, so is the Pescarolo. Yeah, Group C cars, yeah, they were idiotically powerful. I think the Sauber, the Sauber I think weighed about 800 kilograms and had, I think it was like 910 horsepower. Bowser brake horsepower per ton can do a lot of things to this car. And they're more capable than, they, than people think. 
Because I reckon if they make the gears, the gear ratio is a bit longer, I reckon it hit, hit about 260 before the aerodynamic wall just pushes up against them. These things were extremely fast. And then the FIA stepped in and said, we're replacing the class because they've become too dangerous and more focused on speed. So they created LMP1. No, oh, created LMP. Uh, group B's weren't banned for being fast. They were banned because one driver lost control due to the amount of power they had and killed multiple spectators. I can't remember. I think it was the German rally. A Ford RS2000 clipped, I think it was like a, a tree trunk, rolled and killed 50 spectators. That's no good. That's true. Also killed Group 7. If anyone remembers that, Group 7 cars were insane back in the day. Yeah, Group 7 prototypes existed as well. So the Toyota 7, there was the Chaparral 2D and J. couple of others as well, I can't remember them specifically. Can Am Group 7, whatever it's called. Stupidly fast things with four turbochargers. Please stop car. Oh yeah. Although some companies were very innovative back in the group C, group C the Can-Am days. For example, the 2J had two fans on the back. Had two fans on the back to create some downforce, one of which would allow air to pass through the car, the other was to push the car down on the ground and it created so much downforce that even in slow corners it would it would be way too fast. So that was banned very quickly. 
Well, they did. They had the Brabham fan car. And then it was banned. Talk about mechanic. They did have a fan car. Brabham BT 46B. It, because of the, ba the banning of ground effect, like F1 teams had to get real radical and Brabham came up with the 46B, which had a fan on the back. Theoretically, it would it was the same technology as the 2J, as a Chapel 2J. Yep, ground effects coming back in 2022, even though it was supposed to come back last year, but because of delays and whatnot, pandering and politics, it was pushed back for God knows what reason. Yeah, ground effect is back, which means the skirts come back. Thirty-minute race and project cars. Which race was it? Yeah, and it was banned totally. But that doesn't mean it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that F1 didn't do it. Well, of course, because a he's Nicky Lauda, and b it's a fan car. Aerodynamics was the thing. Hopefully this means the end of a Mercedes reign, because I'm really getting bored of seeing Mercedes win everything now. And dual axis steering is to be banned as well. Oh god, too much gravel there. Alright, what are we coming up to here? Is it the Corvette again, or is that a prototype? It looks like a prototype, it looks like the Pescarolo. Yes, it is the Pescarolo. Excuse me, LMP2, but I'd like your speed now. Bye. Yep, Mr. Michael Schumacher was driving a Salva C9. I can't remember the details, but I believe the Salva broke down. I can't, it's a bit, the Le Mans history is a bit hazy right now. But it either, it either crashed or it broke down. I cannot remember. At least one of them did. I know Mercedes and Salva had a whole fleet of them. Need. 
please no oversteer arena. Oh look, it's the Audi R8. Oh yeah. Gonna be 445 laps. Is that by time calculations or is that by, or is that count, accounting for pit stops? Yeah, Michael Schumacher was fantastic driving because F1 and the Mon cars weren't entirely different. They felt almost the same, except Group C's had a roof. <laughs> and once he got testing for Jordan, and once he did his qualifying run, his first ever qualifying run, getting seven for the car that was considered very uncompetitive. And when it came to his race, unfortunately, a gearbox problem plagued him, and he had to pit. He had to stop the car. Shame. Although he did, he did win. He did win seven championships. Oh, it's by time calculation. Okay. Also, I'm surprised to not have any any more frame drops, which is amazing. Maybe OBS finally figured it out. However, we might just see a man about to tie that record. Mr. Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton, an incredible talent. Absolutely phenomenal driver in all conditions. Just stop! Uh, car. Well, that felt strange. I couldn't accelerate forwards. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Uh, I'll be honest. I think out of respect for Michael Schumacher, I think he might just not win the next... I don't think he'll win. I don't think he'll want to overtake Michael Schumacher. Although knowing Hamilton and knowing how he's relentless at winning everything, he might just do it. Because he really does want to become the greatest of all time. But the thing is, greatest of all time doesn't mean, doesn't, doesn't always account for um, winning championships and races. Greatest of all time means having incredible respect for the sport and incredible respect for your fellow drivers. And Hamilton doesn't seem to have that. Also, that was a weird way to pit. All right, final pit stop before Barney gets in. Alright, you take it easy, Alex. Thanks for watching. He 
did drive in 2010 to 12, but then he had a he had a really nasty ski accident in 2013. It's left him it's left him bedridden for so long. It's left him bedridden, and no one's heard anything because his family doesn't want any, his family wants his privacy. Yeah, Lewis is lacking serious charisma. He's just another vanilla. He's a vanilla driver. That's what he is. He wins championships. But there's nothing. He doesn't have anything other than that. Who has charisma? Uh, Michael Schumacher had serious charisma and respect. I think some drivers today have got a lot more charisma than drivers back in the day. Like, you can't just be a driver. There's got to be some kind of character behind you. Think, think of Sterling Moss. Sterling Moss did it because... I mean, he's the greatest driver to never win a championship. But here's the thing, people respect, he became the greatest of all time in that day. Yeah, Mika had, Mika has, has, has got charisma. I was just saying about Sterling Moss. He had, he was respected and loved around the world because he was so damn fast. Like, at one point, when he was in Australia and he was speeding, I think it was back in, like, the 60s or 70s. I'm not entirely sure when. But because people have heard how fast he goes, the cops and other people just went, who do you think you are, Sterling Moss? And an officer said this to Sterling Moss. Sterling Moss replied with, yes, I am, Sterling Moss. Yes, I am. I am Sterling Moss. Plus, he, ha I mean, like, like I said, he is, he's got such incredible respect. The Sims 2. Enjoy The Sims 2. The Sims 2 is a great game. Yeah. No one's going to replace Sterling Moss. No one. I don't, I don't care who they are. I don't care if it's Lu I don't care if Lewis says he's the next Sterling Moss or Lando Norris or or George Russell, no one's going to replace him. It's the same with Jim Clark. No one can replace that guy. Oh, God. Please turn. I mean, I'd like to say that that Lando might become quite legendary in the sport one day. Because it's because of him. Because of him, he's brought in a much younger demographic to the sport. And it's also because of him that he led the charge in F1 drivers actually coming to streaming. So Latifi, Latifi, the Leclerc brothers, um, I think. Max Verstappen. It's those drivers that are bringing a new demographic. Yes. Racing back then was extremely dangerous. It, I think the first Austrian Grand Prix, it was, 
it was on an old cracked up airfield with hail ba with hay bales as barricades. R92 still in the lead. Oh, please. Four vets pitting in. Escarolo. No, it's the R8. No, that's the R89C. And I've just. God damn it, get out of the way. Yep, and it's also race week. It's also race weekend at Spa. Oh, it's the Audi. So is everyone, to be honest. I mean, good for Steiner put out a tweet because of um, because of what happened last year with Antoine Hubert. the R8. I don't know, I like the R92 CP Longtail. That is an absolutely striking car. Also, there is this, the, the Salva C9, because, what, what, I mean, what else? Free practice, oof. What times are they getting? I mean, surely Spa has got to be a wake up call for Ferrari. Because, like I said, they've got a pig, an absolute pig of a car to drive. God, that's just the first one. Jesus, they, they have got to do something now. Listen, when you're when you're up, when your best hopes is to beat Haas and or Williams, you know your car's a piece of shit.
I think Carlos Sainz going to Ferrari now is a bad idea, considering how how bad the car is. Ooh, I seem to have dropped frames again. I reckon if they don't sort the car out next year, they they're gonna lose Carlos within within the season. Probably mid-season, in fact. Because my God, that that Ferrari is dire. Get on the bloody road. Ow, oh, too fast, too fast. Saved it. Another faster slab. Yeah, I'm two laps ahead. But Barney's slowing in the R92, so who knows what's going to happen. The R8 is pitting. A 349 in the wet of the mall. Is that in a prototype or is that? I was going to say, because that's impossible in a GTE. Has to be a prototype. Makes sense. I mean, if you think about it, the uh, and it, because they're rear-wheel drive most of the time. I say most of the time. The uh, the Nissan GTR LM was a uh, front-engine, front-wheel drive. Enjoying them all again. Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it all right, Phoenix. Also, how are you? I reckon that thing, I reckon Nissan's thinking really did make sense because in the wet, you don't want the rear, you don't want the rear tires to be, to be spinning. You want the front and you want all the weight on the front in the wet conditions. 
And uh, that's the idea they had, but it barely rained at the Mog. So really, all their thinking was based on predict, based on weather prediction, and it just never worked. You know it. Yeah. Oh god, easy now. Plus, I think the car was way too expensive to make in the first place. Considering the, the, uh, the suspension that they had, which was probably, which had to have been the third most expensive thing on the car, I reckon they had the they pulled the plug on cost, not because they weren't winning. Also, car, car, please. All right, Barney's turn. In France nowadays, getting S rain. Yeah. I think it's Barney's turn to get in the car. Don't you think? My two hours are up. Increased pace. Let's see how he does. Oh shit, now I'm starting to yawn, that's not good. Man, look at that wobble. Wobble, 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 wobble. That's the R92CP long tail. That thing is utterly gorgeous, don't at me. There's the R89C, there's the Audi, and there's the Pescarolo that is falling not that far behind from it, actually. And there's the Corvette. What lap is it on? 30. What's going on with my desktop?
Oh, I know why it's a chat. No, it's not. Oh, it's that pissing thing. No, it's not that either. What the hell's going on here? You know, Adapt is screwing up. I don't know what's going on here. I'll have to restart desktop. Yeah, my desktop's screwing up. That's not good. Uh, nothing's happened. Nothing, nothing's happened in terms of game. It's just uh, my desktop's crashing. I can't open anything properly. Um, hang on. Need to close desktop.exe. Ah, uh, where is it? I don't know why Groove Music is still a thing on this. Discovery. Hmm. No apps are running in the background. Bloody explorer, do I? I feel my head and brain floating away. Oh, God, you got a massive headache, I take it. Here you are. Yeah, it's crashed. It's not doing anything. That's better. Yeah, I can I can pop stuff up now. Yeah, desktop was desktop or e exe was screwing up for whatever bloody reason. Oh, it's coming up to the long tail. I'm having a start of a headache. Oof. This is a very tiny window, which I can't. Bloody thing. Well, at least I know what was screwing up. It's trying to overtake. Well, you, you now can. Congratulations. I'm going to put you on medium pace because you're just going to be overtaking everything. Yeah, I'm going to put him on medium pace because he's just going to overtake everyone at this rate. I want to keep them balanced. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, guys, I'm going to be right back. I need to go to Zbog and make a cup of tea. So I will be right back. Enjoy the music and the game.
Hi there. I am back. How is Barney doing? He's going to be pitting in the next lap, which is good. And his lap times have not in any way slowed down, despite me putting him on medium pace. Oh my god. I'm going to put him on a slightly reduced pace for now, see how he does and then for the next stint. See how much time he loses. If he, if he loses way too much time, then I'm just gonna I'm gonna put him back on medium pace. The tea is delicious. I use two tea bags because it increases flavor. You only try tea twice in your life? Oh, come on. You gotta have some tea in your life. I actually switched from coffee to tea because um, coffee wasn't doing anything good for my teeth because coffee is very acidic. Tea isn't. It's really, really nice. And it helps with um, helps with a mental state as well. Especially when you pick green tea. Although I don't really have green tea right now. I need to go buy some soon though. Crisps. There's loads of different kinds to get. Green tea, there's fruit teas as well. There's Ruboy, Rupus tea. There's loads, absolutely loads, and they all have different character and flavor. Coffee is just coffee. Although some people like to add things like like caramel, caramel into them and whatnot. He's coming in because he knows his tires are dead and he's low on fuel. Need to close some of these things down. Now everyone can piss off because it's not doing anything right now. What a freeze by OBS. Oh, 
OBS Studio was installed. Funny, because I'm using it right now. Bloody thing. That's definitely giving me a little bit of refuel refueling. Alright, the, uh, the R92 is starting to catch up a little bit. However, Sauber just pitted, so I don't know. Oh, I've seen those videos. I know you're talking about Skyline. I've seen those videos. They look great. It's not even just that. It's um, I don't think it's just PCSX2 the guy was using. I think he was using some kind of like computational AI configuration to make it look ungodly good. I know who you mean. I've seen those videos before. The game looks absolutely astonishing. I don't know what AI the guy's using, but. It's definitely made a major difference to the game. Oh, Lordy, excuse me. That's a burp for a second. What speed is he doing? 203 and whatnot. Keep it, I want to keep his. Oh, I lost 40 frames. I lost 0.6 of a second. Wow. In frames. So, so far, I've lost eight seconds of a. I've lost eight seconds of footage of a two hour 24 live, live session. Also, it seems so far that the power is very, very stable. There is no fun no warnings of thunderstorms, which is nice. That's a big change. What lap time are you doing, fella? That's a 409, but that is because you got out the pits. Let's see what lap times you can really do now. And then I shall compare.
Right, Pescuaro's pitting in, which means the Audi must have just pit now. Let's have a look. At that. Oh god, it's a combination. It's the Corvette, the Pescuaro, and the Audi. Well, goddamn. Oh, it looks like the um, looks like the long tail's coming. It's coming to get me. R89C is a fair fair ways behind. Meanwhile, Audi and Corvette are, are fighting. Not that much faster than each other on the straights. It's just the aero properties of the R8. Meanwhile, Pescarolo is way behind. Here comes the Sauber in for its lap time. Three thirty-four. <laughs> Just have that massive shilling. We shall win because it's got our name on it. PlayStation logos at hundred horsepower. Yeah. Let's have a bit of a comparison between Group C and uh, then modern day LMP2. And Peugeot Pescarolo. Four fourteen. Although it did actually just come out the pit, so. Corvette is uh, some way away slower. <laughs> yeah, in the court with aero, definitely, but due to power restrictions, they're not nowhere near as fast. Have a 
laps comparison. Uh, we're four seconds slower than the... Uh... So, yeah, I'm going to put him on medium pace. See how he does. LMP2 didn't have hybrid. In fact, they still don't have hybrid. Oh, you're talking about LMP1? I was going to say. LMP1? Yeah, they'd easily be monstered by um, by Group C. Because the thing is, that hybrid system is only temporary. It's a it's button use. And you can only use a certain percentage. Meanwhile, these things, are, these things have got unbelievably huge turbos on them. So I would say, I would say LMP ones would be killed by these things, but LMP ones are faster in general due to cornering speed. It's not really power that that has been um, has seen evolution. It's more, um, yeah. All right, all right. Well, I was saying, I thought you were talking about LMP two. Don't ask me how I got there. That's the thing. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, though, because Group C would be idiotically fast, but because of modern tyres and aero, NMP ones will beat Group Cs. Around, at least around at least around slower circuits faster circuits like like Kota they they'd be killed by group C on the straights Well, 332 and a 338, although he hasn't really completed his lap yet. Plus, I think that thing's on um, on worn tyres. One MP ones. Yeah, they'll accelerate faster because of the hybrid system. But on a longer straight, they'll be killed. Because remember, there were no power limits for for Group C back in the day. Right, three thirty P four. 
Group C and NMP1, pretty much. So yeah. On ITCP of 1990 was definitely quick. Now, fastest lap for, say, let's have a look at modern NMP1. So, let's go to 2000. GT1s don't count because, let's face it, it's a GT1 car. Oh, Audi R8 was Audi R8 was an MP1. Hmm. There's three categories. There's, at least at this current time, there's LMP1 or LMPH, which is Le Mans Prototype Hybrid, LMP2, and then there's GTE. Although they have their own two splits. Which is uh, GTE Pro, which is factory drivers and GTE amateur, which is like private privateer teams. Yep, speed eight was uh, 2005. Now let us compare to a 20, a 2012 Audi. Oh, oh yeah, it was 2003, wasn't it? Idiot, what are you thinking? Let's compare to an Audi R18. Oh god, there was a, there was that bloody Nissan whatever the hell that Delta wing was. Oh bloody hell fails. How the R18 e-tron got a 3 minute 23 in got a 3.23. This was this, this was the 2012 24 hours of Le Mans. God, the Del the Delta Wing was one of the most hideous looking things I've ever seen. It looks horrible. FAP, yep. 2015, the Porsche 919, the 316.8 in qualifying. Oh, yeah. Let's keep going, so... 2016, there was no time improvement. 2017 by Gazoo Racing in the in the TS050. A three minutes fourteen seconds point seven nine one. For 2019, it were, there was no time improvement, and now we're just waiting for 2020. In which currently, yes, there are still three, still three classes: so NMP1, NMP2, and Le Mans GTE. So the cars that are entering that. 
Also, I need to turn this off, don't I? Oh, that's right. Oh, he's coming in for his pit soon, isn't he? The cars are entering. They got slower. I would say they got slower. I think aerodynamic. I think aerodynamic bound boundaries finally started to kick in. And there were multiple regulation changes and whatnot. And diesels are banned. Because you could go much longer on a tank. Alright. Second pit stop for the Barney. Let's have a look at what we got for 2020. So, there's six entries. There's three cars. We've got the Rebellion R30. No, there's four cars this year. Hmm. It was a diesel. It was a diesel, and then they changed it to a hybrid. Because diesels were about to be banned, because they could go on forever and forever, even on the limited tank. Yeah, but... Like I said, diesels were banned entirely from 2016 onwards, I believe. Because they could still go forever on a tank. Plus, if fuel was spilt when they had a crash, diesel doesn't evaporate into the air or it, and it does not clean up easy. Audi still had a diesel in 2016. Hmm. All right. But like I was saying, I think the ban on diesel was just, not just because of fuel advantages. It was also down to safety. Because like I said, diesel is not easily cleaned up. So if a diesel car crashed and spilt fuel on the track, a yellow flag was not enough. A red flag had to be enforced because diesel was spilt on the track and it would take forever to clean up. Diesel electric motor, so 40 V6 TDI. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't put flames on it. You can't inflame a diesel. It has to be pressurized to ignite. So, a petrol needs a, a petrol gasoline or whatever you call it, needs a spark plug. Spark plug, of course, ignites along in time with the valve, the piston, and the timing, and the timing belt. A diesel, a diesel's, diesels have a glow plug. I'll be leaving for, I'll be leaving to go to work in about an hour. Hmm, work. I wish I had to, I wish I started work on Tuesday. I can't now because their shipment of computers was delayed because 2020. Yeah, because of aerodynamic advances, not necessarily power advances. 
Pretty sure on other tracks they would be faster. Why is chat not picking this up? Let me, let me test. Yeah, Restream's not picking it up for some reason. Hang on a bit, hang on a bit. Yeah, it's not picking it up for God knows what reason. Let's try again, so... Test. Okay, it's popped up on there. It's not popping up on... Oh, for fuck's sake. Is it actually crashed? Fuck off! What, with the 919 Evo? Right, where's the... Right, chat window. That's the one. Let's remove that and put a new one in its place because... Ugh. Right. Browser... This up, embed in stream, copy. I guess it's on 962. Yeah, 962 was extremely powerful. It was actually considered a death trap by one of its drivers to the point where, where it was said that the driver kind of wished it crashed. No, I kind of wish it just stopped working so they could get out. Just... Ah, there we are. It's working. Just had to reload it because... Ugh. Okay, it's a bit small, so... Just need to line it up a little bit. There we are. Yes, but it was extremely light. That's what made it fast. What's he doing on lap times? Okay, so he just got out the pit, so I'm going to wait. Second is the R92 CP. But that is because of my driving. People who keep saying that it's boring to have a dominant race... The AI is slow. I can't help that. Yeah, I thought so as well because it's got it. It does better on tires, but apparently not. I'm just looking at the image of the Nissan Delta Wing. And for whatever reason, it has two seats. <laughs> it looks like it's got two seats in it. As if anyone's going to want to be part of that. Ever. Oh god, it competed in bloody... It competed in the Petit Le Mans? What? Yeah, big tire advantage, plus more power and more aero because it's a 919 Evo. But yeah, it's nearly it's nearly a minute faster because of because of 50 years of advancement. Nearly 50 years of advancement, anyway. Yeah, you watch motocross. I did watch mo. I did watch motocross. I watched it back in the X Games days, but I had lost interest very quickly.
but the first one is going full power. That kind of depends on what version you have, though. I love the X Games as, as a team. I'd always watch every single one, whether it be whether it be the one in Aspen, the one in Austin, the one I can't remember the rest of the places. But I know there was a Winter X Games. X Games Europe was a thing. I watched them all. I love them. I watched some of it on YouTube. It's a shame it's not going this year because of the bloody virus. Ugh. The virus has taken away too much, too many things. Oh, we're getting some um some eighties vibes here. Alright, let's let's have him complete his lap and then we'll compare lap times. It's been nearly three hours, bloody hell. The skateboarding is always good to see, but I think skateboarding's lost its edge. Let's have a look at what he's got. A 3 minutes 31, which means eh, he's not going that much fast. He's not going he's not that much slower, but at least it'll be fine. Tony Hawk can do anything on a skateboard. If he wanted to, I reckon he could I reckon he could strap a rocket on it and do and do a million degrees. The guy was the reason why skateboarding got so popular. At least back in the 90s, mid 2000s. Now the R8's pitting, which means the Pescarolo is not too far behind. At the age of 60, probably would. His son, maybe. You know what they say, um... It's not always like father, like son. I mean, think about Michael Schumacher and his son, Mick. Mick's not doing brilliantly. Oh, it's windy outside.
No, he's not doing terribly. I think he's. I think it's just down to bad luck. Yeah, there's a lot out there. I think I've forgotten most of them, really. Rodney Mullen. I might have to search him up. See what he can do on the board. I see I dropped at another second of frames again. in i'm gonna remember to, to actually move my legs every now and then because i don't want them to die i'd like them to work but now and then i'll have to stretch move them about and do things with them 2002 you won skateboarder of the year damn have a look see what he has on his wikipedia He's now 54, the guy. Jeez. He invented everything, apparently. <laughs> Not the only thing.
hey, there's a way to actually, um, there's a way to get on the Hall of Fame, invent everything, and change the face of it. What the hell is this song? It is a song, that's all I can say. You taught there's no Tony Hawk. I know. Well Rodney invented everything, Tony Hawk made it pop got it super popular. Well they both did. I think Tony Hawk was the more recognisable, it became universally recognisable by everyone. I think just before I do some, um, do some driving, I'm going to do some sit-ups, do 30 of those, and that will be in about 25 minutes. Well, they're both legends. Listen, I'm not a, I'm not the the worldwide knowledge base of skateboarding. I lost so much of that interest. I don't know, 2006. I don't know. comes again. Oh, hey, the outro song's on. <laughs> it's not the end of the stream yet. Don't worry. Like I said, I'm not the skateboarding worldwide knowledge base. All I know is that Tony Hawk, to me, was probably the most recognizable person in the world. I wouldn't say it's dangerous. I'd just say people are stupid. Very, very stupid. There's a reason why Rodney Mullen and Tony Hawk and multiple others, actually, all said safety is paramount. Why do you think the Tony Hall Foundation exists? Seventy-three out of one hundred three competitions won. God damn! He won nearly seventy-five percent of all of all the ones he entered. He's more dominant than Mercedes in F one or Ferrari or Benetton. <laughs> 19 times second place. What? Pescarolo is about to overtake. With 17, he bought his... With 16, he was being called the best goat in the world. With 17, he bought his own home. I mean, with all that prize money, where do you think it's going to go?
He was in Police Academy 4. Actually, to be honest, what star wasn't in the Police Academy series? There was... How many were there? It was like seven, wasn't there? Seven Police Academy films. He was one of the kids doing some tricks. Just some tricks. Implying I'm not reading out of this little wiki. You probably are reading from a wiki. Oh my god, I'm just reading about Police Academy 7. Apparently the film... The film got a rating of from Rotten Tomatoes of zero. And it lost all its money in the box office. <laughs> Ten million dollars it cost to make, it gained one hundred and twenty-six thousand. <laughs> That's a disaster. That is about. That's just over one. That's a, that's just over one percent of their budget. Welcome to Wikipedia. <laughs> Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two new regulations come in. Twenty twenty one they it was supposed to come in twenty twenty one. And I think it's um I'm not entirely sure. I because ground effect impo implied that the body kit was very the body the bodies were very low to the ground, so lots of air was forced underneath as well as pushing the car down. That was that was the effect of ground effect. I'm not sure what kind of ground effect they're thinking of the FIA when it comes to 2022. Electric powered Dyson cleaners underneath. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what the McLaren MCR 37 is going to look like, though, for next year. Apparently there is a download for it already. <laughs> it's just a design. <laughs> what can I say? Oh, 
RP twenty one F one car, what would that look like? There are no images. <laughs> Wonderful. Check uh check Google's one. Basic point, RP21 concept livery, even though it's not going to be called um, black with pink on it. God. face itching Right, lap times, let's have a look. 335, 331, and that thing is coming up behind us, eh, not very quickly. Oh God, please, please, I don't want. Don't want to be falling asleep. Dead Lord Slifer. It'll be Le Mans number two after this. I mean, reality. Le Mans is in a couple of weeks. Nords, I'm not sure. Getting windy out there.
Free play two, free play. Yeah, we're doing just fine. Plus, I reckon he's got another two laps under the belt. What's catching up to what? What's on the straight? E and B. So we've got R92 catching up to the Corvette again. See it overtake. Sound of that. goes meanwhile here comes the r89c coming in for its pit stop and i know this because the r92 pitted which means this isn't far behind
And here it comes. What's the time between those two? A s point three of a second. Wow. Meanwhile, the very lonely Corvette. Need to do sit up soon. again. Next stop. I could get used to it. I wouldn't go with used tires, I'll be honest. Don't know how much tread they've got on them. You don't know how old they are and whatnot. Yeah, you can measure the tread and whatnot, but you don't know the condition of the rubber. Well, unless you see it for yourself, anyway. Thank you. Had to ban, um, set the ban to, um, to bots. I checked who was in, and then I saw these two, saw those two, and yeah, I'm not going to allow bots in this, uh, in 
this chap. the chat and make sure it works yep working all right i'm going to do some sit up so we'll be back in about two minutes What do you mean the test failed? Yeah, it, it is best just to get new, what new fresh ones, because you know at least they're good tires and whatnot. Never mind, huh? What? Who? What? Where? Some trophy OR. Yeah, those are expensive, aren't they? Three fifty for a tire.
Hmm, let's see how much they are for the UK. Ah, here we are for the size, for a max size. This is on, this is on a Demon Tweaks anyway. Well, considering that Pirelli is made in Italy, don't be surprised that they're expensive. So let's have a look at standard tire size. Let's have a look at two. Let's have a look at two four five four five sixteen. Two hundred and sixty four quid. Yeah, Demon Tweaks. They're a very very good company. I think they 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 do worldwide, which is pretty cool. They also do sim racing. Yes, they make 16 inch wheels, which is wheels made for a piano. Oh God, we've got track racer stuff in there. That's cool. Track racer, free motion advance. 16,000 pounds. Yeah, pianos have small wheels. That's the joke. That's the joke. Oh, wow. Cube controls have got more stuff available now. Cube controls, Logitech adapter. Cube controls, Frostmaster adapter. I googled some rumors about a model going on only fans. Listen, when you see only fans, just keep away. Keep very away. It's not worth it. Yeah, please, like, like I said, just keep away from OnlyFans. Who buys them in the first place? There's an even better question. I get the car in 20 minutes. Stop too soon. Order now for dispatch in 28 days. What well, for a 16,000 pound racing simulator? Jesus. That better be something special. <laughs>
Oh man, they got rid of the old Simi Cube 1 stuff. That sucked. Oh god, the Sim Racing Apparel. Wow! Does anyone want a vented gaming shirt? I ain't AFK, I'm still here. I got enough to chat about, man. I'm all out of topics. Oh, this song's a banger. This is a good song. Let's see what we got here. Lap times are still quite similar, although I think this is his last lap before I go in. Who knows? I reckon it is.
the speed of the Mercedes. Send me a stop. Oh wow, it's sending me a the weather. Yes, thanks for telling me. Should be coming in in a few minutes. A few minutes, you know, a few seconds, really. All right, here we go. Time for me to get back in the wheel. Oh, God. There we are. Right, after this stint, I'm going to need to restart the stream because, of course... Ah, I don't want the bloody restream dashboard up on the website, do I? Alright, let's go. You did well, Barney. Now it's time for me to push. I might put this in a uh, full screen for OBS. There we are, look at that. Full screen, baby. R89's pitting in.
Easy, easy. God, oh, that's bad breaking. Hello, Corvette. Excuse me. Oh, God. Audi's pitting in. Pescarolo's pitting in. I bet the Pescarolo is really starting to catch up to the Audi now, which is weird.
god, easy, easy. It's the Pescarolo. It is indeed the Pescarolo. could have done better there. Gravel. This is the Audi I'm catching up to now. We are four hours in officially. See ya, Aldi. No, 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 no.
Oh god. Beast down the road. Nice recline chair. Song's very strange. Not sure what these lyrics are supposed to imply. Oh god. Uh, stop! No, why? Why did it go off the road? Hi, Cone. Wow. All I did was break and it, it didn't even stop. Oh, these brakes are oof. These brakes and tires are just oof now. Please! All right, first pit stop. Pit stop number one complete. I really should put like a stint o meter. Yeah, I think, I think I might do that next time I get out of the car. Oh, man. 
my Spain. Welcome back, back. How are you? You are crashing bumper cars. Bumper cars, you say? Your hotel has bumper cars, excuse me. Way to crash into kids. Jeez. No. I, ooh, that was close. You evil man. It's not evil if it's not illegal. Big brain think right there. The big bonk. Is this the Corvette I'm catching up to again? It's the Audi. The Audi is in front of me. Bye. is itching all over the place. Not good. Breaking too late again. But remember, top front tires are not up to temperature yet.
Ah. I wanted the fastest lap. gravel Distance are going to be pitting. Our 92 CP is just pitted. Yeah, sorry, at half two, go man. Also, welcome, how are you? Excuse me, Corvette. Oh my god. Oh my good god. Stop. Welcome back, Skyline. How are you? Move out my way, Corvette. To work out loadouts. I need to go back to the gym soon. Although I don't know if the place I'm going to be working at has like an indoor gym. That would be re that would be really cool if they did. Go to the gym for lunch. It is the same. It is the same loadout lineup because the game randomizes based on day. Looks like I'm going to need to uh, pit and let Barney drive for a little bit because I've just been informed that dinner is ready. So after this lap, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, uh, yep, yeah, play with a dual shock. Although to be honest, hardcore mode would be dual shock one, which I don't have. Right, so I'm going to pit in this lap to because it doesn't have press. It doesn't have. It doesn't have more. Um, I think it has something to do with the uh, potentiometers in the dual shot controllers being far more accurate, and there's and pressure sensitivity in the buttons.
no one's liking the music. Sorry, I can't control it. Because I'm not a big fan of his song either. Even, even though it's done by one of my favorite DJs right now. Uh, it's it's uh, it's called Universe by Avino. Macro man, good to see you. Unfortunately, I'll have to go. I need to go and eat. So I'm going to be about half an hour. Let Barney drive for a couple of stints, then get back in. Unfortunately, that's going to screw up all the schedule, but hey. But hey, I, I need to eat. I'm going to survive. Plus, this has to keep going. Oh, he drives well. Don't you worry. You had your shower. Ooh, relaxing shower. I hope it was a hot shower because that cleanses better. Arnie will drive well, don't you worry. All right, let's get him in. Fuel and tires for half an hour. Good for my head. It's good for everyone's head, really. Yes, 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 phone, whatever. Alrighty, I'm going to put on the overtake. I'll put him on a reduced pace because he, this, this thing is so much faster than the... Um, it's so much faster than the uh, long tail. Oh, yes, you can. Easy. Oh, this is a banger, though. This is done by Conro. This is a really good song. It's a song by Conro called... Oh, I can't see it. God's sake. I'll link it one day. All right, guys. I'm going to be back in about half an hour. Enjoy the race while I eat.
Hi. I am back. All right, let's see. Uh, see how he's done. He's been doing just fine, actually. Lap times aren't too dissimilar from from the long tail. And now I have a nice lolly. Because chicken curry was delicious. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Fair bit of forces to get rid of it. I just lost a crap ton of frames. I lost about three seconds of footage there. Slap. And I shall carry on driving. Also, it looks like I just got in before the rain decided to hammer down. Great! Don't we all just love rain? Drop it. i 
Alright, here he comes, so for me to get back in the car. Let's do this, once again. Yep, I'm going back in VX after my delicious dinner. It was actually delicious. All right, here we go. Two hours. I ate a chicken curry, and then I ate a nice lolly, <laughs> because I just did. Oh, Lord. Alright, this is the rain that was supposed to be forecast right at o'clock, as it turns out it's come a lot earlier than expected. Ice cream! An ice cream! Frozen pop. I don't know. So we're going up to five hours in. Which means this lap, 86 laps, which means... Which means every five hours should be about 80 or something, I don't know. Perfectly that time. Amazing. Past five hours, nineteen hours to go. Oh, we catch 
Looks like the like Corvette again. Oh, Lord. Uh. Heavy rain, heavy rain. I can hear it through the headphones. What is that? Is that the. I'm not sure if that's the Corvette actually. No, it's the R89C. I do hope that it's all good luck and have fun from here because I don't want another power cut and all power outage. Two's on the straight going to the second chicane now. I doubt we're going to have it in the next few laps, I'll be honest. Oh, box to it. Someone knocked on my door for a second. Who's pitting in? Oh, 
Oh god, woohoo. That was close. Good. Uh. That skyline. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Now I'm full of food. Then for September, I have my Prime ready, just so you know. <laughs> the Prime subscription. Actually, I need to make some uh, subscription icons now. Eastern car. Definitely does need to pit next lap. Corvette's there again. Hi, Corvette. Hi, Corvette. It's all lonely, isn't it? You know, if only multi-class was a thing in this game. Although it was actually supposed to be a thing in this. But then time constraints got in and they can do that. I doubt it would have been possible anyway. Given the amount of obsessive detail the game already has.
Um, I don't know actually. Um, because 2004 and 5 was really when the PS4 started to explore the limits of what it could take. Metal Gear Solid 3 had um had internal had an internal clock system which like determined how many days you were asleep and if you get captured or not. GT4 had probably the best the best handling physics of any game. And then there was Shadow of the Colossus, which was the first ever game to utilize high dynamic range. So it's really hard to say which was the most advanced game on the PS2. Oh, I made the corner, made the corner, made it. Made the corner. That is true, yep. 1080 interlaced. But it was only available in regions that supported it and the power region didn't have it because it didn't support 1080 interlaced at the time. Yeah, for the PS2, that is incredible. Te that is actu actually pretty incredible. Come on! I want you in the pits. No! No! In the pits. Thank you. Here we go. Let's go again. That's one pit stop of eight. Let's start making a little bit little graph after my stints are done. Dirt five looks very good. Uh, Project Cars 3 has got an identity crisis and I think it might actually cost the entire franchise. They did say it was supposed to be a spiritual success of the Shift 3, but at least Shift had a, the Shift franchise had a had a clear direction. Project Cars doesn't have one, and that's the biggest problem plaguing it. It just doesn't know where it wants. It just doesn't know what it wants to be. Does it want to be console sim? Does it want to be? Does it want to be endurance sim? Does it want to be a, a shift successor? It, it doesn't know what it is, and that's the big problem with the game. The only good thing, so far, one of one of the few things is just the car list. It looks very nice, but at the same time, you can tell the game has just had a downgrade in graphics, which is weird, very weird. Because why would you do that? Perhaps it's to differentiate from PS4 to PS5. I, I mean, I don't know.
They're not horrible. It's just... It's a very clear downgrade. And I'm not... And I'm not sure why they did, because Project Cars 2 looks fantastic. I mean, it's not like Dirt 3 in the sense of what it was supposed to be. Dirt 3 was supposed to incorporate Jim Carner when that was still a thing. I think Dirt, I think Dirt 5 is supposed to incorporate uh, a slightly more fun version of. I don't know what it's called. I think World of Champ. I think it was like the World of Champions. No, X Games, the only thing X Games has, which is like Dirt 5, is the Rally Cross. Because that is part of the X Games calendar. Yeah, this is probably the first dirt uh, I'm gonna buy since Dirt Free. I really do like the Dirt games. Dirt Four let me down. I think Dirt Four was a major letdown for the series because it lost all focus. But I think Dirt Five is really. is really pushing it is is going to start pushing pushing for a much better focus now Dirt 2 was pretty good. I still think Dirt 3 is the best one they made by, by a long, long way. Incorporated great physics along with great force feedback and a very comprehensive career mode. good lap. catching up to now another dump of frame rate nice yeah it, ta it takes a lot of meddling I'll be honest and I'd rather not Nice time. I don't. 
No, say. I'll have to listen to the, to the to the stereo mix of this. Oh, look at that, it's the R92. Hi there, I'm about to lap you again. See ya. <laughs> yeah, three laps ahead, baby. Now the R8's pitting in. It's just gone past 8 o'clock in the UK. And I've just missed that entire chicane. Which means I will be getting off the, the track in an hour and a half let Barney drive again. It's 9 o'clock in Spain. I'd like to be in Spain right now, but due to the monstrous outbreak that's happening there, which is unfortunate, that can't be possible. Spain right now. to here looks like the Audi R8 it is the Audi R8 and I'm going to say goodbye to that on the grass We have 10 minutes from Catalonia at night. I can hear sometimes the cars running in the circuit. Damn, that, that must be all. That must be an awesome sound at night then, especially during the endurance events. Goes to the sound of engines roaring.
Oh, I broke too late. And I'm on the grass. I'm on the gravel. And yet, despite that, that's my fastest lap by some way. Stuff's been rattling around outside. Jesus. Is that something drop? Oh, my lord. That was my talent that dropped. Road to a thousand laps. No, that's three days. I ain't doing that. Plus, in order for that to happen, I'd have to be playing Project Cars 3, which has no tire or fuel wear. I'd have to be playing. I'd have to, oh god! I'd have to be playing motorsport manager in like 100 times speed to do that. Please, no understeer. This definitely needs a change of boots now. Mercedes Vapor car, God. Uh, get off, get off, get off, get off. No, no! Yeah, these tires are wrecked. Corvette's pitting in. Don't slide on me! Stint number three, it's a uh, kind of text value actually. Stints. Stint, three out of eight. I don't want an aerial. Alright, you take it easy, Skyline. Thanks for watching. the microphone I forgot there was a corner there of course I forgot to add a space on that didn't I
Well, somehow I stopped in time. Right, what are we coming up to now? Oh look, it's the Corvette. Hi Corvette. Right, R eighty nine C pitting in again. I made the corner this time. again out the way wrong with this? No, this stuff's trying to be played, but it's silent. Here we go. Stop! Get off the gravel.
God, no. Get off the grass. That's better. Oh, hi, Karen. It's good to meet you again. Let me just push you into the road. See you, Karen. Damn good lap as well until that happens. And that. And that. Is that the Corvette or is that the Pescarolo? Not 
is the R89C. No, it's the Pescarolo. They look very similar from the back. Oh, that is the Nissan. Ain't hitting me from behind, mate. Bat chance. Bat chance. do it. I was a second off. Damn, it's windy outside. That's like a storm, but we could that but that's because the chimney. Easy now. Now fifteen till I get out of the car. Oh, I've really How does my car end up on the grass every time? This is actually really annoying now. car shifts so much when the rear tires start to go. Please car, behave.
All right. It's not here. Which one is it? Ah, here we go. No, oh, that's. I we just changed one of them for no good reason. No, it, it's the... What? That doesn't make any sense. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let's just stop right here. I have no idea what's going on here. I want browser. Text. Stint. Why does it not show up? Thanks for the push. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't exist for some reason. Really weird. This name is already in use. Really? It's not even it doesn't even exist. Lies. Absolute lies. I have to replace one of them then. God, easy, easy. Yep, what lap one hundred, Mr. Goman? It certainly is. What race? Also, welcome back, Roman. Oh, I had a frame drop again. Yeah, the race, yeah, the weather's just fine. It's a bit windy, but it's fine. There was a heavy downpour earlier, but that seems to have gone quick. There is right now quite some strong gales happening. That doesn't seem to be enough to um, distort what is happening. Oh god, no, 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 no. I 
That's me overtaking the Audi. And that is that coming out the pit. Escarolo's pitting in. Oh, understeer. More understeer. It drives fine. It's just a bit skittish on hard tyres. stop I need to yeah next pit stop I'm gonna have to have a look at the uh, the weather later on see if the wind dies down which it should the Corvette C9 there's no such thing yet Side note, in three years, it's going to be the 70th anniversary of the Corvette. At least I think, no. First Corvette came out in 1955. It's the 65th year of the Corvette. Jesus. First Camaro's came out about 19 something. Um, about 1971, I think the first ones came out. So it's about God, it's only 50 year old, maybe. Not, not. That's better. Except that understeer. Alright, R92's pitting in, which means the R89 would be closely following. One hour till I get out the car. I've been sitting in the race of cover nine years. Probably pines of wood that are more flexible than me right now.
Why aren't the alerts working? Uh, thank you for the follow, Gior. I don't know why the alert the alerts aren't working for some reason. 1966 was the first thing with Kamara, yeah. God! It's 65 year old next year. What the hell? Fifty-five. Never mind. Still, D don't question my maths. Let's have a look at Streamlabs after this. Um, it doesn't seem to be working. And or I need to reload OBS, which is not ideal. It's probably what I'm going to have to do, to be honest. That would be 1987. So, no, even later than that, actually. I think it was something. I think it was something like 1992 when it was first introduced. Because one team entered just to break the speed record down the straight. No. No, 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 not the Porsche curves. No, the the Mon the fours the fours and, and PlayStation chicanes existed in around 1992. Yeah, it was the 70s. I thought you meant the uh, the chicanes on the straight. I know they were introduced in the 90s. Well, early 90s or late 80s. My God! Yep, it was because people weren't convinced by the car. People were not convinced by the car. They thought it was just a fad. So this race, in fact, many races, even before Le Mans existed, were designed to prove how durable a car can be. The 
Mans, since 1923, has become the most prestigious race in the world. You can forget Monaco. You can forget Indy 500. The Mon is the is the race of the calendar. It's the most popular race in the in the racing calendar. God damn, it's windy. Yeah, November 24 hours is also a very, very big race. There's a lot of other 24 hour competitions out there. Spa 24 also exists. That's the most prestigious car. That's the most prestigious event in the GT calendar. No, oh, no, 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 no. the most prestigious race one of the most prestigious uh, endurance races I think the most prestigious endurance race in America is the Daytona 24 hours and that's for road for over it's the Indy 500 god Then you've got Bathurst, which is most, which is the most prestigious race in Australia. Oh my lord! Hundred thousand Meltzer stars, nice. All right, let's uh. I don't know. Oh, good. It's gone off again. Wonderful. Oh, piss off ads. Apparently, I've got an achievement called The Empire Business. Oh, yes, they were. Yes, they were. Dream for a thousand hours total. Wow. All right, here we go. Welcome back to Skyline. No, I, I wouldn't say they were designed for technology reasons. They, I mean, they really did have some incredibly advanced technology. But they were designed to go fast. That's it. They were designed to just go fast. an hour until I get out the car.
Yeah, turbos were huge. They were enormous. They also ran on a much higher octane fuel. I think the octane of Group C cars was something like 110 ROM. Which made them unbelievably powerful. It was raw petrol. So raw, Gordon Ramsay wouldn't use it in his car. Yep, Russian T-34s are run on vodka because what else runs on vodka? In, what else doesn't run on vodka in Russia? I could guarantee Vladimir Putin's big limo runs on like, runs on Smirnoff or something even more distilled than that. Understeer, understeer, understeer. Less than 50 minutes to go. I get off. I get off and let Barney do his job of carrying on for me. And then at half past 11, I go back on for an hour for an hour and a half, and then I'm going to bed. As soon as I'm done with my stim, I need to reload OBS, make sure everything's working again. the stream I use a Elgato, Elgato cap capture card I use the HD60 Pro it's worked absolutely flawlessly since the day I got it Skating. Yeah, it's got its own processing chip, so very low impact on your PC. Oh, that was very poorly done. So is this.
too late on the brakes. Intentional cutting. Get out. I don't intentional cut. You know that. Why would I do that? To gain prophetic time? See what that's what we can get. Oh, stretch my legs out. Oh my lord. Ow, 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 ow. My right leg. Ow. This is why you don't sit in a chair for five hours. Six hours. More than that. have a leg. Oh. Okay, that one's not its not as painful, but still a little bit. This is why I need to go back to the gym. My legs are dying here. Please tell me at work they've got a gym. Please, please, please. That would be lovely. I could go to the gym and then But you know what your thoughts are. Yep. And I do not cheat. I refuse to cheat. Oh, jeez. Get up off this thing. Take a walk about. I know I should go back. I do know. But I want to find out if this place has got its own gym because it's basically out of it's basically out of a hotel and spa. The office is right next to it, so maybe I'll get access. Who knows? Ah, I'm more hardcore on that. I'll do I'll do the driving and I'll let the AI do the stuff in real time. Also, welcome Microberg. Welcome to the stream. Okay, that was a bad corner cut. That was my bad. At least this game doesn't have penalties. Otherwise, I would have been disqualified by now. Actually, I would have been disqualified way later.
Oh, hey, it's a cool bit. Out of the way! Oh, no, 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 get back on the road. Within four and a half hours, they let the AI took, took over. Just lost two laps the whole race. It's micro, by the way, not micro. Eh? What? <laughs> I think there was supposed to be some kind... There was supposed to be a, a bit of a stretch. I think there was supposed to be some kind of multi-class racing. Oh, Mirko. I have had. My apologies for butchering your name badly. This is the problem with using Restreet chat box. It's, um, everything's all in bold and in ne nearly the same color as the, as the, uh, the speech bubbles themselves. So it's hard, so it's not exactly the easiest to read. Yep, I gotta watch the road as well. Getting real sharp. Yeah. The uh, the chassis flex. Chassis flex makes it really hard to control at the end of the race, and that's what I'm afraid of. Having a car slam into a wall, which is never good. Especially when you consider the majority of uh, the majority of Group C's, even during the 80s, were monocots. And having a one-piece chassis and having the wind beat it down is uh, lethal at best. turn in early enough did I this happens to me every single bloody time I've got to keep using the stupid escape route Escarello's pitted in I don't think you'll be needing that for, Nerd, for Nords um, I basically used any, any touring car that was available no, this is me driving, and Barney will be in in less than 40 minutes. Which then I'll restart the stream to make sure everything's working. Alright, let's have a look at the... Uh the wind will be dying down tonight. During the night. Actually, no, it won't be during the night. It will stay the same speed all day tomorrow. Wonderful. At least it ain't strong enough to blow everything down. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, God. Yeah, but did you soften the suspension for that? Because I know softening the suspension will increase tyre life by ridiculous amounts. Because the track's very bumpy and the suspension is, by default, set, up, set very stiff. See pitting in. Stage four turbo and nitrous, dude. That's overkill on that thing. I won't. I don't think I'll be using that anyway. I'll probably be using the seventy eight seven B because rotary noises, bro. Disgusting action. Drop some frames again. Oh, we'll be using it then. Assuming the AI isn't using the same car. Which at this rate, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Lord. That was very, very close. Up the grass. Before you kill the rear tires. Oh god, the Minolta. I ain't using that. I won't have any of that. I just don't want to use a Minolta. The fastest AI participating. Ow. Well, I don't know what to use yet. It's either going to be the Min I'm either going to be using that thing, or I'm going to be using the 787B. But I've already, I've already used it for the Infineon race for IMSA. So that I'll be using it again. But what is less stable than a C9? Probably the HDR9. Viper. That's because the oh, I'm use a smart again. That's because yeah, it's gone off again. Why has it done this? I fucking hate Twitch app. It's not even just that, it's the fact that it limits its speed for whatever reason. Oh good, it's an ad. For some kind of app. No, it's an ad. For some kind of... Oh, it's a Navy ad. I don't know what it is. Yes, whatever. RAF. Why Why should I care? This is why I think they should bring back the YouTube streams, Monster Cat, because at least they worked. On Twitch, sometimes they won't do anything.
Yeah, that's a bit weird. Very strange. To switch to something else eventually. I might have to switch to no copyright sounds while I'm asleep because at least it'll be playing something. Clear my cash. I don't know. All right. Thanks very much, Mirko. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your all. Enjoy the retroness. an half hour to go. I think while I'm asleep, I'm going to set up a playlist on Google Play Music. Oh, it's the R is that the R R ninety two CP again? It is. Damn, you losing time, boy. See ya. Four laps ahead. Uh, three laps ahead. Oh, what the hell did I hit?
Four laps ahead. Dollar just hit the fastest speed I've ever done down here, 253. That's how you do Molson. Oh, what the hell? He's made a clip. Better watch that one again. The car. That's a major corner cut, and that's called the gravel. How is that link? Tour de light. Hang on, let me read that as soon as I get back on back back on the straight. Tour de light for worm Bible thumb. What? <laughs> These links, man. These rears are going now. Big on die. I know these links, they're, they're randomly generated words and weird, but what can I say? They're going to run out. Twitch is going to run out of words to use eventually. Behave, behave, behave. Oh my God.
It's like being on an angry bull. God, I haven't heard this song forever. What's it called again? I can't remember. Check it out. Ah! No, not again! Stop the spinning! It's actually stuck sideways. Last pit stop before Barney gets back in. Oh, it's by Solero. Good God. And now I'm three laps behind again. Ahead, I mean. God, I just hit the fastest speed I've ever done down here. 253. Now, of course, because it's a Microsoft problem. Whoa. What hit me? Like corner cup. Do I know what I think it is? That audio, that microphone clipping. It's because it's got too many audio devices in audio devices in OBS, and that's annoying. sure what it is. It's either my head it's either the software of OBS or its audio codec is an absolute disaster. Or it's because I've got too many audio devices playing all at once.
way, Aldi. It is again. And I'm now back to fallouts ahead. Yeah, Nissan and, and their calcite liveries have always been have always looked so good. Oh god. GT4 section. Oh, I'll touch the grass. Ow! Oh. Really? Oh, are we really gonna play this game? This is finally pitting. I'm back to four laps ahead, hopefully forever. God, please. Understeer from warm tyres. How is this possible?
Yeah, I made it safely. Too late. Right, who are we coming up to now? That is the R eighty nine C. Pitting in, which means the Pescarolo wheel at the same time. Dropped a load of frames again. There's the Judge Pescarolo. Hitting in. No, it's a GT1. That was basically... Um, GT1 was effectively what LMP2 is now. Hence Toyota TSO20 GT1 or Nissan R390 GT1. They were pretty much pro they were prototypes. They were secondary prototypes. God no. Man, why? Just shuffles. Starting to understand now. And the brakes are really starting to be affected. Right, last lap. I get out of the car.
exactly the problem with these things. They're so wide with the track, but the track after Molson is so narrow, so. It's like you're driving a train. Yeah, it'd be it'd be a well beater. Off the road. Stay on the road. Lid. And it was still sliding. It really doesn't matter how careful you are either. Eventually, the game's traction control is going to be overwhelmed. So it'll be like driving over diesel. No, I wanted the pit! Screw it. I'm pitting. I don't care. There, I pitted, I did it. I have a Barney to do his job. Jesus. Alright, Barney, you've got two hours. Let's see what you can do with it. All right, I'm going to shut the stream off for just a minute so everything can reload. And I will be right back. 